Hi, my name is Rook. I'm a senior designer at the LEGO Group, and I designed the LEGO Colosseum. The Colosseum has 9,036 pieces, and as of November 2020, it's the largest LEGO set ever. So during the process, when I was adding more and more detail to it, the piece count just grew bigger and bigger. And so it slowly evolved into the biggest LEGO set of all time. Well, the actual Colosseum is a spectacular building. For a normal person back in the day, they've hardly seen a building that was over a story high. And to be confronted with such an amazing piece of engineering, that's almost 200 meters wide, that's 50 meters tall, it was unprecedented up until today. The scale of the Colosseum is set on the remaining part of the facade, on the big ellipse. I wanted to capture the Roman orders of the columns that you can see on the existing facade. That is the Tuscan, that is the Doric order on the bottom, the Ionic with the volutes on the middle, and the Corinthian with the flowers on the top. They represent three distinctive styles of the antique architecture that Greek have started with and Romans have expanded and built upon. There are a lot of challenges in building a set this big. First of all, it, it has to stand when you lift it up. So the way it's designed is that it has a very strong base, but the superstructure is only connected on a few points, so it's a bit like modern bridge building. When you pick it up by the base, it allows the rest of the model to flex on top of it, which means that it doesn't exude the forces so that it would crack. There are no new elements in the build to actually show the versatility of the LEGO system. The columns themselves are built with a minifigure candle piece turned upside down. And on the Ionic columns, on the second row, I used a minifigure roller skate to serve as volutes on top of the column. There is a part of the Colosseum that is contemporary, and that is a part of the arena which has been rebuilt to show where the original level of the arena was in the Roman times. This wooden LEGO arena is the last piece to be actually put on top of the LEGO model, therefore corresponding to it being the last thing that was built on the actual Colosseum itself. The original building could house over a hundred thousand spectators, at least that's the assumption we have today. But it also had a retractable roof, that's very rare even today. And we have shown that in the LEGO model. There are a number of corbels at the outer ring of the facade, which shows where the masts were being hoisted, which would hold up the roof. While the original Roman Colosseum was brightly colored, it was painted bright red, blue, black, and as well as white. It's of course been weathered under 2000 years under the Roman sun. So the Lego version actually provides more color in order to show the shadow lines, to show the details, to better accentuate some of the details. But it's still predominantly colored in light sand color and in dark tan sand color. There weren't distinct iterations of the set. I would always improving on the existing model. So I'd be working on four distinctive pieces at the same time. Every change that you make actually reverberates around the entire model. So if you're changing just a few pieces in each of the sections, that means that you have to do it 40 times. And that amounts to a lot of Lego pieces being changed. But I'm truly satisfied that it's a full 360 degree model. There's been utmost attention given to every aspect of it. So no matter how you turn it, you're always looking at a perfectly detailed Lego set. I grew up in Ljubljana which is built on top of an old Roman fortification town called Emona. So as a kid I would actually be climbing the existing original Roman ruins that are on display in the middle of our town. So I have a personal relationship with the Roman Empire as well. So I'm a trained architect myself and when the LEGO group was looking for a LEGO architect, I applied. At that time I was lucky to have all the criteria that were needed. My five-year-old self would be really proud of the adult that got to design this amazing Lego set.